Hi, my name is David Pluvios. I'm editor of Diverse Issues on Higher Education Magazine. I just want to take a minute uh, to speak with all of you about our current edition, which is uh, Academic Kickoff, a, a focus on HBCUs. And in this particular edition, we uh, take a look at specifically our public HBCUs. Uh, we call them the uh, 1890s, uh, land grant HBCUs. There are 18 of them. And uh, we have on our cover a photo of uh, Dr. Mary Sias. Uh, she's president of uh, Kentucky State uh, in 1890s HBCU. She's also chair of APLU, which is the umbrella organization representing all land grant institutions. And in this particular piece, uh, Dr. Sias talks about her background as an educator and her role as a chief advocate uh, for our public HBCUs. And so I encourage all of you to check that out. I also want to discuss uh, a couple of the stories in this particular edition. Uh, we have a story uh, titled For the Public Good, which takes a hard look at land grant institutions uh, and examines whether these institutions have lived up to their uh, calling uh, to serve the public. And so you want to uh, definitely check that out. Also, we have a piece on uh, uh, the Thurgood Marshall uh, College Fund. Uh, you want to check that out. That's uh, by uh, Reggie Stewart. I just want to highlight that and uh, the several other stories that you'd be very interested in. I want to uh, make sure that you take a look at that. I uh, also want to ask a question uh, to our readers. Uh, currently, uh, there are, you've seen a number of stories on our website about what's happening at Fisk University. And uh, my question to all of you is, do you think Fisk will ultimately survive uh, in this climate? Uh, that's our question. Uh, you'll see a tool uh, that will uh, enable you to respond to that question. But again, I thank you for uh, reading uh, and uh, hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.